Hello and welcome to the Essential Leadership Skills for Soccer Peak Performance webinar. We are here today with Peak Performance Consultant Pedro Almeida. In case you don't know him, his cutting-edge advice has inspired many of the top coaches, players and soccer teams via his lectures, seminars, one-on-one -on -one coaching, team coaching and media appearances. He's probably one of the world's greatest experts in leadership and performance applied to sports in general and soccer in particular. On this webinar, we'll focus on leadership skills. As you know, your ability to select, manage, motivate and coordinate the members of your team will largely determine success or failure. In here, you'll learn how important really is leadership and peak performance in any modern soccer team. And you'll also learn Pedro Almeida's five skills of leadership that he developed over decades of searching, study, practice in a wide variety of incredibly successful peak performance teams like Benfica, for example. And for the big finale, you'll also learn two techniques that you can start using today to improve your team performance and, of course, your results. So, let's get started. Pedro, tell our viewers a little bit about yourself. How did you get started in all of this? Hello. I started 21 years ago. Uh, as a peak performance consultant, joining together two passions of my life, sport in a way and psychology as a, the way to help people to do the best they can do, uh, to make them grow in their abilities. So, during all these years, I have been working a, with a lot of athletes and coaches, most of, of them in Benfica, that is a popular uh, club in Portugal and also in the world. And I have been working during all this time with these international players and coaches. For example, Camacho, that is now a national team in China, China uh, with Gisvaldo Ferreira, that is now in Turkey. And, for instance, players like David Luiz, that is now in Chelsea, Simão, that is in Besiktas, in Turkey, or even uh, Thiago, that is in Athletic Madrid. So, how exactly did you help those players? Uh, generally, I help uh, players and coaches to manage uh, their thoughts, emotions and behaviors. So you can apply this to a lot of situations, like helping people to, to manage uh, this kind of situation in, during injuries or to improve performance, for instance. That seems interesting. And how exactly did you help the coaches? Uh, you can assess co coaches uh, mm, discussing with him, with them, uh, a lot of situations of their day-by-day -day life as a coach. And so in that, uh, in that way you can improve, you can help them to improve their performance as a coach. But also because I am a trainer of these, many of, of these coaches uh, in Portugal, in local courses, and also in UEFA Basic and UEFA Pro that are the highest degree of certification of coaches. During all these years of working with coaches, you probably have a very concrete idea of what is leadership. Can you share some of these ideas with us? Yeah, I can share my vision about this. It's no, nothing uh, truly new, but uh, for me, leadership, leadership implies uh, influencing individuals uh, to gladly contribute to the group success and to the positive mood of, of the team. Uh, also, implies uh, coordination and guidance of the group to achieve their goals. And I think these are the two basic ideas uh, of leadership. Why do you need leadership skills and how does it influence performance? So, I think it's uh, very basic to the, the motives, the reasons, because you need it. First of all, because a leader makes all the difference in the world, in the success of a team, and even in its own success. Uh, but because it's the way for you to boost team performance. Uh, uh, as a peak performance consultant, uh, I, have been, I have worked with uh, coaches that before developing their own leadership skills um, could not manage some situations in the team and then they could uh, put their team performance in next level. But uh, also in other kind of situations, like for instance, uh, the same team uh, had different coaches in the, 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 the same season, and with one coach could not uh, develop their abilities, their performance, and with other coach that have 
better leadership skills could uh, boost their performance. I know that all these years of working as a peak performance consultant, you developed a very interesting framework of leadership skills. You know, the big five, as you used to call it. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, it's like a big five. It's a metaphor with the, with the hand uh, where we have five fingers. So we have five uh, leadership skills that for me are the basic ones. So the pinky finger, the little finger, it's your self-awareness. It's... Uh, um, the, the first skill that you, you have to develop uh, if you want to have uh, to have success as a coach because if you don't know your your positive and negative points uh, as a coach you could not develop them and so you cannot uh, go to the further step if you want to change behaviors thoughts uh, attitudes uh, in yourself you have to have conscious of uh, situations of uh, your thoughts and the, uh, of your behaviors and many of the m many of the times that uh, when i'm working with uh, with coaches i I'm, i work like like I, i'm like a mirror to, for them uh, i give them feedback about their thoughts about the way they think the, the, the way they they act and in that way they can change they can give get some some awareness of their of their uh, way of doing things of thinking things and then they can change a second finger uh, that uh, that means the second uh, leadership skill that we have to develop is uh, your concern for the others when as a peak performance consultant when I'm inside the teams uh, I see that uh, what the at least prefer uh, are the coaches that uh, are very aware of uh, their needs of uh, what what they feel and giving them feedback uh, other than um, uh, looking uh, most of all to their uh, own uh, coach goals so if you want to have to boost your performance as a coach you have to develop this skill this very important skill that is uh, how to concern for the athletes, how to have uh, concern for other persons, also not only athletes, but also the other members of your uh, coach team. The third leadership skill, it's uh, our middle finger. It's like a central uh, leadership skill that you have to develop if you want to be a better coach. It's communication. All of us know the importance of communication in the way to boost relationships, in the way to, to help uh, people to connect better in a team. So if you want to be a better coach, we have to develop this leadership basic skill. Uh, as a peak performance consultant, uh, I have deal a lot of times with this, uh, this situation, this kind of situation of developing communication. Um, Normally, uh, I listen coaches uh, about the way they, f they felt during the speech, uh, what they wanted to, to say, and uh, afterwards what they, they felt they, they, it happens with, with the dialogue with the team. And then we analyze in the one-to-one -one coaching what he could do better, and uh, uh, I can give in some way, in some, in some some situations, some advices about how to uh, develop this uh, uh, way of thinking in a way that they can do it alone next time. Well, that's very interesting. You certainly are giving a lot of great information here. So, and how about the other two, the emotional commitment and emotional control? Yeah, the emotional commitment is very related with, with motivation, how to motivate people, how to involve people put them in the same page of the coach. So for that, you have to, to talk with persons. That is a, 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 a skill that uh, is very connected with the, 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 the one that I told, told before, communication. And if you cannot uh, communicate with people, you cannot involve people, you cannot uh, uh, emotional commit people with the, the goals of the team, with your own goals and with the, the athlete goals. For example, uh, to get emotional commitment uh, in the team, uh, in the beginning of the season, 
uh, it's uh, good to listen uh, players' expectations uh, and goals, and then set forward your own uh, expectations about uh, their performance, about team performance, and this way you can put all uh, of the team.